Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the Jiu-Jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an armbar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, OK, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it work. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. All right, here he is for my money. Might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight. Maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. A couple of chins here being tested early. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, lands the double jab. Those are going to start to take their effect. Oh, big punch land. Oh, nice. Nice. Misses with the right hand. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Punch coming, it's blocked. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Again, he's looking for that left, it's not there. Three minutes to go here, round one. Right hand punch from the clinch. Pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you can one knee to the body. Every time he tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. What a punch. Great posture control by his opponent. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to just shoot a blind shot. It got defended as you would expect it to. Try to establish that jab. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Uh, 
left punch is true. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. The Korean Superboy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Slips that left hand. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Looking to land the right just out of range. Yeah. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't hear me. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold, hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Five minutes in the books. Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Nice punch lands over the top. And he landed the right hand there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big knee to the body. Out of range with that kick attempt. Another shot to the head. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Nice strike. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Throws the right hand there. Swing and a miss, wide short. Nice leg kick.
So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Big punch lands through the middle. Just misses with the jab there. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Back mount now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Nice straight punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Good punch. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate. He's so educated. He's so able to fight from both fighting stances. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You're looking great. You're winning this fight every round. This round, I want you to control the fight on the ground. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he would touch it the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down on a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Head kick. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Just misses with the jet. Oh, that right hand is on point. You gotta check these low leg kicks. of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Trying to establish that jab once again. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, single collar tie here. Just over three minutes to go. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch there by Choi. How about that shin? Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. 
and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Great action. Oh, double leg takedown. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. It's a good right hand right there. Give me the takedown now. Beautiful hook. Straight right hand now, just misses. What a body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Gotta be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Elbow attempt now, that one blocked by Chor. That one's stuck in. Nice strike. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start Whoa! this next round. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Back and forth we go! Yeah, he's mixed it all up. He blocks the shot. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice punch by Shore. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. 
Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Nice leg kick lands. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. And there comes the separation now. Big head kick land. Blocks that strike. There's no tell on that leg kick. Lands with the lead right. Two minutes remain in the round. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Just out of range with the big right hand. He's gonna try to take him down. There you go. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by the Korean Super Bowl. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, Superman punch! Keep your hands up! Keep your hands up! Joy gets caught with that punch. 30 seconds to go. Back and forth we go. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab Whoa! is just stuck. And what a round! Huh? Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them really picked it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. He missed with that jab attempt there. Straight punch lands. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. To the left hand now, unable to connect. Big kick lands. Ooh, blocks the shot. Just misses with that one. Oh, 
over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, nice knee to the body, just what he needed there. Joy gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence has grown from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Oh, great entry as he gets the takedown there. Great entry, great timing, great finish. What a fantastic job by this young man. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Choi. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Choi gets back up. He blocks the punch. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Able to check the high kick. Big leg kick land. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Let me see that hook now. He's very tricky. Whoa! He throws that fight. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, nice high kick. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Lands with the right hand. Got a single collar tie. Big knee land. Oh, that's nice. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, straight right. One minute to go in the fight. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Big punch land. Ooh. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. So as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. The official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl.